Okay, so uh, Glimmer Glass State Park is on at Seagull Lake, which is what I thought it was. And um, it's the Glimmer Glass of James Fenimore Cooper's Leather Stocking Tales. So I've got this whole James Fenimore Cooper thing going. I was at Glens Falls before, showed you where uh, in the middle of the Hudson River at Glens Falls there's a limestone cave that features promise prominently in uh, Last of the Mohicans. And so this is Glimmer Glass from his uh, Leather Stocking Tales. And this was a big deal here in New York State. Although, I have to say, um, if you Google it, you can read scathing, scathing uh, review uh, commentary on James Fenimore Cooper written by one Mark Twain who thought that James Fenimore Cooper was just a horrible, horrible writer um, and did not understand sorry about that, that was too much wasn't it? And did not understand why he was so beloved and uh, well read uh, uh, not well read himself but why his books were so popular now oh, that barn ain't got long uh, so yeah, this was really worth coming here to see. Wow, look at all. Oh, that would be great when there's more people here and I could go on the trail. I'm just not going to do it right now. Oh, there's a little feeder creek up here. Must be. So, yeah, Mark Twain, not so much with the whole James Fenmore Cooper. I personally just can't get into the books. Um, plus, I didn't have a huge interest in Native American history. Uh, I certainly do as it intertwines with the colonial history. And, and you know, maybe that'll change. Our interests change as we age. And uh, Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. And I think that that's, you know, I've, I've mostly I've been had a lot of interest in uh, my own heritage and that kind of stuff. And I think that that's normal. It's native. It's normal for Native Americans. It's normal for blacks. You know, you look back and you, you study what your own people went through and how they lived. <clears throat> and and that's a good thing. Because it, it makes you proud of where you came from. They want to blend us all into one people, but we're all our own individual peoples, and that's good. So this this runs here. Look at this. Now it goes apparently. Oh, it's Russian, 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 isn't it? I bet you last summer during the drought it wasn't very good. Now it's going under that little. They made a whoop, whoop, back off, back off. They made a place for it to go under there. And somehow it must go out into that lake. And I bet you there's a nice blue, un, not frozen area right where it's coming out. Ooh, look at these hills. Ooh, I can see a bear coming down to that, can't you? Well, as long as you don't fall. Oh, I've been hanging out in the backwoods too long. I'm not talking proper. As long as you don't fall. Look at this. This is pretty. The whole green shutters thing just <laughs> not doing it for me. Just not doing it for me. Just really don't like green shutters. Maybe if they were red, it would be pretty. This ugh, green shutters. Oh, it says something about this place. Let's go see what it says. Tin Top is the name given to the great gatehouse for the Hyde Hall Estate because of the distinctive tin covered dome. The gatekeeper and his family lived here and controlled traffic entering and exiting the main gate. Uh, the building stood on the East Lake Road just north of the current entrance uh, of Glimmer Glass State Park from 1821 to 1974. 1821? <laughs> that was a long time ago when it was moved to this location. Western 
Western turnpikes. Well, what about, seriously, Western? It is, we can't, we, we can't toll houses. Then we're not in Western. Anyway, it is the earliest surviving gatehouse in New York. What? And an important symbol of the state's transportation history. Oh, they can get rid of everything like this in my town. Reopening in May 2021. So again, this is a gatehouse, and it's the last one. The last one in New York State. I thought there were geese, but there's actually women behind me. So there's two people. And again, I'd rather be where there might be a bear than people. Oh boy, just, I don't know about you, I love the wind. I, if it's, even if it's zero, I want to be out when there's a wind. I just love wind. You just can't get enough of that view, really. Oh, they're going back. Those ladies, they're like, oh, we're not going any farther than the gatehouse. So there's the gatehouse from the other side. Huh. 1821, and they moved it here. Huh. Parking for Hyde Hall guests only. How the hell do you... Well, that road must actually lead to a real road if there's people that actually park here. A guest of Hyde Hall? Ooh. Wow. Ugh, the branch falling down, I took down it. Oh, look, there's a nest. See that nest? I don't know where this leads. <laughs> Gotta be a bear up there. Oh, per my throat. <coughs> <coughs> so it's actually pretty warm today. It's 50 degrees and uh, there's a car just to give you that same car that we saw before down. Um, 50 degrees, but I'm, I'm warm because, uh, I, I'm dressed warm because the wind, wind coming off of that lake, ain't 50 degrees. So, I think it's about, oh, I think to calculate wind, uh, wind chill, it's times, times 0.07, I think. that goes. They, they, they turned back, so I guess I'll turn back. I like this tree here. Caught my eye, this poor broken tree. I just like how it, how it's got that. You can see right through it, just has a little area. So that tree's not making noise. <laughs> I don't know about, I mean, this kind of, I don't know, what happens, it's got to be kind of sad what happens when trees die. Ooh. We know what happens when they're alive. Oh, look at this bark. Now you can tell. Ho, 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 ho. That's a very, very unique bark, and I'm not getting it in the light very good here. Just can't get it good. I mean, the bark is like, it's so shaggy. Gooby doo! It's so shaggy that it's, it's, it's bouncing off the tree. Oh, there, you can see better. Ooh, yeah, get out from under the tree. Cover. Yeah, I took cover into the 1821 gatehouse that'll crash, crash in the wind. Ooh, ooh. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at that. I love how
really tall. I don't know. I just can't. I can't go have a man stand next to it uh, to show you. But it's an eastern white pine, <sighs> like the Adirondacks, and apparently where there's lots of eastern white pines, there's bears. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna take some still photos of that and say for now, over and out.